The enigmatic beauty of Giza's pyramids has long enchanted people and left them wondering if the people of the time had a secret method of wirelessly transmitting energy. Nikola Tesla, a 19th and 20th century inventor and physicist, believed so. Tesla invented alternating currents, which is still used in most homes and businesses today. He also believed the Giza pyramids were power plants capable of changing the world. Tesla believed that pyramids were constructed as massive resonators to wirelessly amplify and transmit energy. He believed that their unique geometry and alignment with the Earth's magnetic field created a powerful energy source that could be used for a variety of applications. Despite the lack of evidence to back up his claims, Tesla spent his life obsessed with pyramids and wireless energy transfer. He abandoned his early 20th century wireless energy system prototype due to financial and technological issues. In the early 20th century, he attempted to prototype a wireless energy system. Even if Nikola Tesla's pyramid theories were based on fact or his overactive imagination, other pyramid mysteries continue to baffle scientists and historians to this day. Among these mysteries are the pyramid's construction and purpose. Nikola Tesla was a Serbian-American engineer and scientist who produced scores of advancements in the production, transmission, and application of electric power. He invented the first alternating current AC motor and established the technology for AC generation and transmission. In contrast to his early employer and primary adversary, Thomas Edison, he was never able to translate his numerous discoveries into long-term financial success, despite his fame and esteem. Nikola Tesla was born in Smiljan, Croatia, which was then a part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire in 1856. His mother handled the family farm while his father served as a priest in the Serbian Orthodox Church. In 1863, Daniel Tesla was killed in a riding accident. Tesla, then age seven, was unnerved by the loss, and he described having visions, the earliest indications of his chronic mental problems. Tesla attended the Technical University of Graz for mathematics and physics and the University of Prague for philosophy. During a walk in 1882, he conceived the idea for a brushless AC motor and drew the initial sketches of its whirling electromagnets in the sand. Later that year, he relocated to Paris and was hired by the Continental Edison Company to fix direct current or DC power plants. The following year, he immigrated to the United States. In 1884, Tesla landed in New York and was employed as an engineer at the Manhattan headquarters of Thomas Edison. He worked there for one year, and his diligence and creativity impressed Edison. Edison once informed Tesla that he was willing to pay $50,000 for an upgraded design for his DC dynamos. Following months of experimentation, Tesla offered a solution and requested funding, which was denied and Tesla left shortly after. Throughout the 1890s, Mark Twain and Nikola Tesla became close friends. Twain frequently visited him in his laboratory, where in 1894, Tesla took one of the earliest photographs ever lighted by phosphorescent light of the great American author. After a failed attempt to establish his own Tesla electric light company and a stint digging ditches for $2 per day, Nikola Tesla found investors to fund his research into alternating currents. In 1887 and 1888, he was given over 30 patents for his ideas and was invited to speak to the American Institute of Electrical Engineers about his work. Edison's key competitor in the War of the Currents, George Westinghouse, was captivated by his speech. Westinghouse had launched the first AC power system near Boston and was Edison's chief rival in the Battle of the Currents. Tesla was hired by Westinghouse, who licensed the patents for his AC motor and granted him his own laboratory. Edison planned for the execution of a convicted New York murderer in an AC-powered electric chair in 1890 as a prank to demonstrate how dangerous the Westinghouse standard could be. Tesla, bolstered by Westinghouse's royalties, ventured out on his own once more. But Westinghouse's investors eventually persuaded him to rewrite their deal, with Tesla giving up his royalty rights. In the 1890s, Tesla invented the Tesla coil, a high-voltage transformer, and electric oscillators he also conducted X-ray experiments, demonstrated short-range radio communication two years before Guglielmo Marconi, and sailed a radio-controlled boat around Madison Square Garden's pool. Tesla and Westinghouse collaborated with General Electric to erect AC generators near Niagara Falls. 
in so establishing the first modern power plant. Tesla's New York laboratory burned down in 1895, losing years of documents and equipment. Two years after relocating to Colorado Springs, Tesla returned to New York in 1900. He obtained funding from financer J.P. Morgan and began constructing a global communications network based on a massive tower on Long Island named Wardenclyffe. Nevertheless, funding ran out and Morgan opposed Tesla's ambitious plans. Tesla spent his final decades in a New York hotel, where he continued to invent even as his physical and mental health declined. His fixation with the number three and meticulous cleanliness was dismissed as genius-related idiosyncrasies. He claimed to have spent his final years feeding and conversing with the city's pigeons. Tesla passed away on January 7, 1943, in his room. In that year, the U.S. Supreme Court invalidated four of Marconi's most important patents, belatedly recognizing Tesla's radio breakthroughs. He championed and enhanced the AC system, which remains the global standard for power transmission. The pyramids, which were built over 4,500 years ago, are still among the largest and most impressive man-made structures in the world. They were constructed with massive stone blocks weighing several tons each and were oriented to true north using complicated calculations that would be astounding today. Rebuilding the pyramids would be difficult even with modern technology. This begs the question of how a civilization with such sophisticated resources and technology could have pulled off such an achievement. Several pyramid hypotheses contend that they were more than just tombs. The pyramids could have been astronomical observatories, or part of an ancient power infrastructure powered by the wind and sun. Despite a lack of evidence to support any of the many theories about the pyramids of Giza, they continue to inspire people all over the world. Tesla was the ultimate mad scientist, yet his ideas and work contributed to smartphones, Wi-Fi, and the AC power supply, among other things. Tesla's Wardenclyffe Tower and generator concepts were inspired by his belief that the pyramids, due to their shape and location, could wirelessly transmit energy. Tesla filed the U.S. Patent 78741 for the technology of transmitting electrical energy through a natural medium, which described a global network of generators that collected energy from the ionosphere. Tesla believed that the Earth was a massive electrical generator spinning around two magnetic poles, capable of producing infinite energy with the right medium. Tesla's electromagnetic pyramid was named after its pyramid-like triangle shape. Tesla believed that the power of the Egyptian pyramids stemmed from their location and shape. Because of the Earth's eccentric orbit and the proximity of those locations to the equator, he believed he could send power wirelessly. Another of Tesla's fascinations was numerology. Because of his fascination with pyramidal shapes and his belief in a universal arithmetic language, Tesla was obsessed with these numbers. Tesla's discoveries and device vanished after his strange 1943 death, but what he was attempting to tap into may have only scratched the surface of comprehension. Nikola Tesla believed that the numbers 3, 6, and 9 were the key to the universe. He drove around a building three times before entering it, used 18 napkins to clean his plates, stayed in hotel rooms with numbers divisible by three, calculated things in his immediate environment to ensure the result was conceivable by three, and made decisions based on the results. We stumbled upon mathematics. It's the universal language and the basis for all legislation. The number three is always the same. This is the law of the universe. These natural forms were imitated by ancient builders. Could ancient humanity have built the Great Pyramids to remind us of these truths? And could Nikola Tesla's obsession with these numbers have been his attempt to try and establish his position in time and space? Where's the code to such power if the Great Pyramid harmonizes creation? Many people believe it's a four-sided pyramid. Each side of the eight-sided pyramid has a small concavity, this greatly complicates the design and results in unusual geometry. Numbers appear when we analyze this geometry. Define the golden ratio constant, but note that unusual quantities such as Euler's number appear in the design. The Great Pyramid is located near latitude 30. Because the Earth's atmosphere acts as a lens, the slight inaccuracy near latitude 30 may have been influenced by astronomy. The ancient architects chose astronomical latitude 30 because it's not random. Approximately one-third of the distance between the equator and the North Pole. The Great Pyramid speaks to our planet in a variety of ways on purpose. However, 
If you built a pyramid and aligned it with true north, south, east, and west, you would not make a mistake. The Great Pyramid is technically slightly incorrect in this regard. 3 60ths of a true north degree is insignificant. The monument stands 481 feet tall, has a footprint of slightly more than 13 acres, and weighs 16 million tons due to its 2.5 million stone blocks. The Great Pyramid equations contain Tesla's obsessional numbers. Pyramid research yielded 72, 43,200, 630, 25,920, and 2,160, all of which add up to either 3 or 6. Giza East is another example. Let's go to Angkor in Cambodia, another magnificent site dedicated to the mystery of death. Angkor is located exactly 72 degrees east of Giza and represents life to Horus in ancient Egyptian. This could have been used by Nikola Tesla. According to Robert Belval, future languages like mathematics and geometry will help us understand the universe. We need to understand how triangles, circles, ellipses, and numbers work. As a result, our language will sound strange when this becomes our primary way of communicating. The Great Pyramid speaks for itself. The transmission of this silent language necessitates further study. Egyptologists are superfluous. Hieroglyph experts are unnecessary. There are no hieroglyphs. Mathematicians are required. The goal is to persuade mathematicians to study it instead. Either way, Tesla knew something more than the average human, and it's up to us to catch up and learn more from the pyramids and all they have to offer. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to check out our other interesting videos on our channel.